Hello, hello. Welcome to the next in Brawler's lineup of, I guess, Zelrog hosted Smash events. And this one is special because this is Me Brawler's June Jamboree. The entire month of June, Me Brawler Court is having a series of events. And to start things off, we're having a crew battle between, we're actually having several crew battles between our different up specials. We have some brawlers like to use Soaring Axe Kick, like me, that's the best one. Uh, some brawlers like to use Thrust Uppercut, and some weirdos like to use Heli Kick, but we don't talk about them. They'll have the chance to defend themselves. But today, we're hosting a crew battle between the Soaring Axe Kick and Thrust Uppercut crews. Not proper crews, but people signed up for the tournaments on uh, in Brawler Court. Ready? And immediately we're starting our first match between Phage and E.T. Knight. E.T. Knight representing the Thrust Uppercut side, and Phage is our first Soaring Axe Kick user. Both of them, I believe, using Faint Jump and Suplex. Neutral B is open. You can use whatever you want. I had, I had a lot of idea. I had trouble deciding what I was going to use. Looks like Knight is sporting uh, Shot Put. Hello, Big. Hello, Lonk. Hello, Darian. Oh, I should, uh... Now, you know what? These are informal crew battles. This is fine. Chat stays on. Y'all can have the chat. Going roughly even so far, both at about 100%. E.T. Knight just took a hit and is now up to 120 Nair. You got a Nair. Nair and Shot Put takes off a Phage stock. I feel as though I've seen E.T. Knight's me before, but I don't know who it is. Uh, audio levels, sound, okay. Everything looks like it's timed correctly. Elgato makes that hard. Phage! Takes a stalk off E.T. Knight. They are, these two are pretty even. Neutral axe kick knocks Knight away. Man. Age cannot dethrow Thrupper. Mm. No, he's fine. E.T. makes it back into a suplex. Page consistently getting more damage output this match. Naren shot put. Naren shot put. That's all you need. He goes for fair whiffs. Up smash. Not dead yet. Knight catches up a little bit with a suplex. Ooh, the dare spike, and he makes it back with Thrupper. E.T. Knight now has the stock advantage at 162%. A bold faint jump kick. Just, he, he just has to go for D throw up there. I, I feel... I, I like Soaring Axe Kick, but I do feel without Thrupper to follow to end combos with. I just, I, I get a throw and then I, I don't know what to do afterwards. Mmm, misses that snipe. Come on, Phage, you can at least get him down one more. There we go. All right, zero to 120. Phage has got this. Shot 
Shot put. Naren shot put. Why use anything else? And a raw F smash takes him out. 0%. Technical two stock, but that doesn't mean anything. That was still technically, it was still a one stock as far as we we're concerned. The Thruppers win the first match. That is two off of them. And three off of our sack crew. Oh, you may have noticed the very large numbers. This is a, an 8v8 crew battle. Very large. Compared to the usual turnout we get for uh, JMUs. All right, let me double check my little list here. Looks like next up is... Anime Lemon. This is his or her first crew battle. Things are going a little bit slowly. I was a little slow to start. We got a lot of the setup done before the stream began. There's Lemon. I, I can't listen to the, the, the Wii Shop or the Me Channel themes anymore without thinking of the Brental Floss versions. Didn't sign up because I had a tournament tonight, but that tournament got cancelled. Oh, that sucks, Lunk. We are having a multitude of other me brawler events throughout the month. We have a, uh, obviously all the up Bs are going to be covered, so we will have a thrust uppercut versus heli kick crew battle, a sack versus heli crew battle, a mystery JMU in the middle of the month. I don't even know who that's going to be with yet. And another mystery event. So we have a total of five streams I'll be doing throughout the month. And thankfully, school is almost over. It'll end halfway through the month. Jack's not here today, so I was free today. We'll be doing uh, these Brawler Smash streams on Saturdays for most of the month. Helikick versus Sack. Oh, it's not next month. It's next week, I believe. Let me check the calendar. Uh, Thrupper versus Heli is next week. And then Sack versus Heli is two weeks after that. So it's the end of the month. All right. Uh, Knight versus Anime Lemon. That is a very anime lemony looking character. All right, do a quick taunt to begin the match, and here we go. One more stock knight. Are you are you telling him to SD three times? Ooh, there goes Lemon's first stock with the uh, the Thrupper combo. Suplexes cancel out. That was a very short stock. Gets the faint jump stomp.
Give him the nair. Or the sack. Sack works too. Lemon using uh, FMP. Don't get thruppered. Ooh, she dodges it. He. I think Lemon's a he. Why did he two stock himself? Uh, this is a crew battle, which is effectively. We start the whole event with a set number of stocks that everyone has. And we go through players one at a time. Until they run out of stocks. So E.T. Knight will continue fighting until he loses all three of his stocks and then it moves on to the next Thruffer player. Which is going to happen now. Lemon lost one stock and went even with E.T. Knight. Good show, good show. Did, uh, did Knight fail the DI? Cursed me is what the anime lemon? What what's wrong with with with, with lemony anime? Imagine a lemony snicket anime. I can't picture that. I can't picture a series of unfortunate events, but anime. I am also participating in this one, and I will be up after Anime Lemon. Assuming that Anime Lemon does not wipe out the entire rest of the Thrupper team. He could do it, I believe in him. You never know what's gonna happen. Cursor didn't automatically return to smack in the middle of the screen every time. Looks like our next thrust uppercut representative is the three reticle. Spelled with two eyes. Or o reticle. Three o reticle. Bump up some Castlevania music. I could, it's in this game. There's lots of it in this game. Alas, this is a me event. However, you can be sure there will be Castlevania music whenever we do a Belmont JMU. I don't believe, I don't think we've done one with them. Stage bands and picks are still going on. Let's let someone be here. We can I, I can get some company in the stands. There's my friends. No, I don't have to be lonely.
Three Reticle versus Anime Lemon. And Anime Lemon will begin by Three, taking out two, one stock. One, go! And there they go. Rocking the Business Creeper. Here's what the rest of a reticle's kit looks like. Boy, they must both have Ultra Instinct because no one's landing any hits. That's a rapid jab. Oh, that was such a perfect thrupper opportunity. He didn't go for it. Oh, that was another one. I don't think he's very confident with the thruppers. Come on. Oh, air dodge into a raw F smash. Lemon takes the first stock. Up smash does not finish off Lemon. She, uh, he's still active. I keep saying she because the uh, the me looks like a she. I don't know if it is or not. Mm, is he going to go for a thrupper? No, he's not. He's going to go for an uh, up smash. Bear still does not finish Lemon. A reticle struggling to finish the stock. Gets a butt nair. What's the follow up? Ooh, there's the thrupper kill. All right, three reticle gets the first uh, first stock off lemon. Getting a lot of little hits. It's going to take a lot of those to uh, catch up the damage. He's, he's doing it. 60 to 90. No, no Thrupper. The uh, Soaring Axe Kick crew battles are going to be especially interesting. Because of the very real likelihood of matches ending with... Uh, soaring ass kick suicides. Resulting in technical not losing stocks. Mm, he's still in it. A reticle makes it back. The suplex grab armors through the, the uh, tilt. Going for raw F smash does not connect. Come on, land an FMP. You just need one. Oh, there it goes. Reticle down another stock. 126 to zero. It's still in his favor. Is that it? There goes Lemon. All right, that is two stocks off of both sides. The Soaring Axe Kit crew at a slight disadvantage. Maybe I can fix that. Maybe I'll be the savior because I am the next fighter for the Soaring Axe Kick crew. Muscle Butt is gonna save the day. All right, so... Excuse me for a moment while we figure out the picks and bands. Da, 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 da. 
I'm off time because of the delay. Okay. Three heretical would like to ban Town and Kalos and FD. So... Let's see. Uh... Let's go small battlefield. That sounds good. I, I like me some small battlefields. You did good, Lemon. I've never met you, but I'm putting all of my hopes and dreams into your me. Please do not insert things into my me. He doesn't like it. Alright. Me, Zelrog, versus three heretical, who will begin with two SDs. While I sit here flexing my cheeks. Alright. Let us commence! You're gonna shot put me. Get that away from here. Come here. Come to my ledge. Should have held it. That's all right. Give me some suplexes. I gotta get some damage. Raw F smash. I'll take those. Give me another one. Give me a suplex. Come on. I'm a grabby guy. Suplex. Suplex. Ow! I got suplexed. It was bound to happen eventually. Please? Pretty please? With sugar on top. There he goes. Good match. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty good at fisting, I think. We are even. 18 to 18. Now, who is the thrust uppercut user who is going to just beat my ass into the ground? We know it's coming. We know that's how the next match is going to go. It always goes that way. I've never had success in crew battles. Maybe this will be the time. Maybe I can finally shine in a completely unofficial for fun crew battle with no JMU on the line all right who's the next for thrust uppers Let's see what are our stages uh, I would like to ban... I think I ban, right? I will ban Yoshi and Kalos and Lilat because I just don't like Lilat. Yoshi is very, very good for Thrupper users, and Kalos is very, very bad for Brawlers, but especially Soaring Axe Kick Brawlers. Really messes with our ledge game. Melodious. Rocking the Jigglypuff. Sounds like we are going town and city. 
Where is that in this disorganized mess of stages? And all this time later, I'm still wishing we had a sort by series option. Both the fighters and the stages. I swear I played this game a lot. I swear I see the screen. I, I know this screen very well. Alright. Me, Zelrog versus Melodious. Musclebutt versus who knows who using Thrust Uppercut. Alright, it is a Niami. And, yeah, I still have all three of mine, so we're just good to go. Ooh, that lag! Uh, uh, oh, okay. Are we not doing this? Maybe we're gonna get a sub. Maybe Melodious can't play. That was, that was, that was, yeah, that was very stubborn. I don't need to tell you that. You saw it. You can see it. You got eyes. Unlike me. I just, I have one eye. I know they're ordered by appearance in the series, same as characters. I just, it would be much easier to find them if they were organized by series. Or at least the option to organize them by series would be just lovely. Uh, it sounds like Melodius is resetting his or her internet. Perhaps we can reorder and get another thrust upper out? laptop can't keep up. We are live on both Twitch and YouTube, so if YouTube is better for your laptop or your internet, try going there. It's a uh, fourth seat studios on YouTube. I know that uh, YouTube is better for some people because it has the... you're basically guaranteed quality settings, whereas Twitch, it's kind of a grab bag. Do we have quality settings on Twitch today? It depends on who's streaming and what, what, uh, how many resources they have available, I've heard. We do not have quality settings on Twitch. Man, that sucks with this many viewers. Alright, looks like Melodius is back. Let us be seeing if this perhaps goes better. And if not, oh, I don't know what happens if not. Three, two, one, mm. It's okay, this is fine. Ah, uh, I say that. Mmm. Mmm, that's chunky. Chunky, a chunky ass. Uh, hmm. Well, we doing this or? Yeah, it's not better. I I don't know if we doing this. Who's who's in charge here? I don't think we doing this. I guess we will get a sub or move on to the next rupper. There were surprisingly more uh, more signups for the soaring axe kick side than the thrust uppercut side, which isn't surprising in terms of like most me users. For most of me, Brawler users. So I think Soaring Axe is the most popular up special. But in, uh, in Brawler Court, 
No one really talks about Soaring Axe Kick. Maybe because they don't need to, maybe because it is the most popular up special. It's just kind of assumed that a lot of people use it. A lot of the big name brawlers use uh, Thrust Uppercut. I know Big Lord is very vocal about his love for Thrust Uppercut. I believe BMZ primarily uses it as well. Okay. Sounds like we are going Battlefield, which is a little better than uh, than Yoshi's. Triplats in general are good for thrust uppercut. I may be punching above my pant size on this stage. It's also the more fun up special. Are you talking about soaring axe kick or thrust uppercut? Because I find both of them fun. me to be very cringe. It's just it's some dude with glasses. It kind of looks like a, a fat version of Sebastian from Black Butler. Raw F smash. I will take a free suplex off that. Thank you. Ah! That was... Double whiffs on me. I'm amazed I didn't get punished for that. I'm gonna eat a suplex. Nice and tasty. I'll give him one, too. Ow. Ow. Stop that, please. What is this music? This is Mega Man music, isn't it? Jump. Come on, jump into it. Pretty, please? Okay, you can roll into it, too. That works. Alright, it's F-Zero. Of course it's F-Zero. Yeah, I feel dumb now. Thanks. Synchronized suplex. Going for a lot of those raw F-smashes. Uh-oh. don't have a great way to attack above me without proper on my own end. Eh, eh, my own end. Oh! I ate that up smash. There we go. Stock two. Can I get another one without losing another stock? Ah, he's is all the raw smashes. I feel bad for eating them. I am eating a few though. Jump into it, pretty please. Yes. It's not high enough, but it's something. There's not a lot of point in me using that when they're not at kill percent. I keep hoping that he'll uh, here anyone else will faint jump into it, but I haven't gotten it yet. Come on, jump. Jump. Pretty please? Jump. Faint jump. Yes! Mm! Alright. So, I lost a stock there. And that is three off the thruppers. BMZ is actually absent for this crew battle. He's off doing, I, I don't know what. Which is good for me, because I know he won't be on the Thrupper team. I, Big Lord is, however, here. So, I'm definitely not getting through Big Lord. Uh, hmm. 
do I want to keep those bands? You know what? I think I should ban Battlefield. I think I'm more worried about that than Kalos. Or should I keep, or should I get, get, keep Lila? I'm gonna ban Yoshi, I'm gonna ban Battlefield, and... Yeah, I just, I don't like Kalos. I don't like Kalos or Lilith, but I think I don't like Lilith a little bit less. Kalos is supposedly bad for Brawler, regardless of Soaring Axe Kick or not. I don't know specifically what makes it bad. Besides the ledge thing. posting in the chat. Do we got more? Th Are we out? Are there more thruppers? Sounds like some stuff is being figured out. In the meantime, let me just check my handy dandy images folder. What do I do I have anything fun that I haven't shown yet? I doubt it because I don't keep up with this folder at all. Did I delete it? deleted my images folder on desktop. Sounds like we have some missing players. Hello, Justaf. Welcome to the stream. What have I sent? What have I sent to Jack recently? That's always fun. found out recently that uh, Ailstorm put out an album named after and including a cover from the Donkey Kong Country cartoon series. The album is called Curse of the Crystal Coconut, and it has the Crystal Coconut on the cover of the album. I thought that was kind of funny. I didn't know, I had no, didn't know about it at all. Here's another thing I learned existed. Vegeta cooking spice. Never settle for less than the best. Sounds like I'm fighting Esquire. And we will be going on Small Battlefield. 
Esquire being a fairly big name in the Mii community. I think he's the owner of Brawler Cord. Not the strongest we've got. Still pretty strong, though. I, I, have, I have reason to be worried. Now, will he get in here before the arena closes to inactivity? Zelrog versus Esquire, the fanciest me in the me chords, and that's right, I need to SD. I'm sorry, I have a lot of things to think about while I'm hosting one of these. All right, let us begin. Sack in neutral immediately gets me punished, as it as it does. Man, I didn't even get the suplex off. But I'm being very careful. I'm covering my butt. on, roll. Oh, other way. You're supposed to roll away. Uh-oh. No, please. Oh, it was too far from the ledge! Why is the SD required? Because, uh, I lost a stock in the previous match. And stocks carry over from match to match in this kind of event. Another suplex. Yeah, it's not high enough, though. He's not gonna die from that. Maybe another one! Yeah, he's not gonna jump into another one. I can't trap an Esquire in an FMP. He's too smart. Yes! There we go! Alright, one for one. Can I get another one off him? Oh, grab into the thrupper. Not gonna die from that. He's watching me. He's, he's wary of the ledge. Okay, well, hmm. Uh-oh! Oh, he can roll out of it! I didn't know he could roll out of it. Well, that's one for... No, two for one. I lost two, Esquire lost one. That's alright, I'll take that. We are still a one-stock advantage over the Thruppers. And it sounds like they are down a man, so they will either have to have someone play twice, or one of ours will have to drop out. We're in the process of deciding which is going to happen. Sorry, again, multitasking. And that's two off the sacks. Next sack user is Square. Oh, it sounds like, I believe, is that Lonk? Yeah, Lonk is going to get to join the crew battle. Things were desperate enough that 
they gathered around a series of torches and performed the ritual dance to summon Lonk to the crew battle. So he will be fighting on behalf of the Thrupper team. Our next match is Square versus Esquire. It's okay, I loosened him. I took a stock off. You, you can handle it, Square. You're not my favorite game developer. But you made a really cool game recently that's kind of a Minecraft ripoff. But you know what? It's a good Minecraft ripoff. I like that Builder's game. So good on you, Square. We haven't seen a uh, sack side yet. Like, I was really trying. Hanging out on the ledge, for better or worse, is a staple of the Zelrog gameplay. Alright, sounds like they are going to Pokemon Stadium 2. Okay, so real talk. We're, we're not really calling the Throw Thrupper the sus, are we? Alright, Esquire will begin by removing his starting stock. And taunt to start. There we go. The me looks kind of like Sponge from Vine Sauce because of the mustache. But with really red lips. It looks like a very beautiful lipstick wearing sponge. Those up airs. Square's got game. He's given Esquire the runaround. Esquire makes it back, shields the sack. Ooh, he climbs up into the FMP, but it is not enough to kill. The faint jump. Oh, the faint jump stomp takes it. And a raw up, uh, F up smash immediately cancels that out. We're now two to one. Shields the sack. Yeah, cover your sack. Esquire shield is looking pretty low. He's still on the offensive. Lands a suplex. 40 to 50. Esquire looking for those uh, safe, secure combos. He does not have a terribly risky playstyle. An FMP would do it at this point if he can land it. Oh, the F smash! One to one. Esquire takes another stock off of Square. Could he pull it back? Could Square still lose this? Oh no! The faint jump miss input takes Esquire's last stock. Beautiful me. You can't top it. All right, so that is two off of both sides. A perfectly even match. No, not the funny. Doug? Doug funny? All right, Esquire is out. Next up is Lonk who has made the uh, stellar advancement of going from a member of our viewing chat to being in the crew battle. It's the dream. Square will now ban stages. I love how uh, Square's profile picture on Discord is it's just a square. It's a black square in a on a white background. 
Like, that's it. That's him. He owns it. Square is banning Final Destination, Town and City, and Smashville. Interesting choice of bands. I guess he doesn't like large stages. How does that emote make you feel? Uh, wh what is it? It looks like a yellow blob on my screen. It looks like someone wadded up SpongeBob. That That's all I can tell. I might need new glasses, though. All right, sounds like they're going to Yoshi's, which is not somewhere I want to fight a Thrupper user. I love FD. FD is... I, maybe I'm boring. It's my favorite stage. I just... I like big and flat and boring. Because I'm a Ganon main. And it's not even supposed to be a good stage for Ganon. But it's so much easier to predict how people are going to... What people are going to do, how they're going to approach if there aren't, uh, there aren't platforms to worry about. I say, I, I have been a Ganon main. I'm now competitively a Bowser main. Lonk apparently having trouble joining. Isn't Lonk from Australia? Where's Lonk from? I forget. No, it's not Australia. Maybe it's like the Netherlands. He's, he's in some far-off non-America place. That's right, Sustown. That's, that's the place. You got it. Ready? Square versus Lonk. There he is. There's Lonk. All right. And begin! <laughs> Good voice. Oh! It's like, it's like a very derpy Ocarina Ganondorf. Optimistic Thrupper. That's all right. He doesn't get punished for it. Up smash on Square. Square proving the last smash that he is no slouch. Hmm. Faint jumps. Kick. Oh! It's not a suicide. He didn't need to suicide. He gets the sack kill on ledge. And into an, into an up smash. There he goes. Well, that's one for one. That's fine. He did... It broke even. We are hanging in there with that advantage. Ele uh, 11 to 12. Sack favor so far. Bonk has two stocks remaining. Or who is our who is our next uh Intimidaving. Intimidaving. Oh like like Dave, but he's intimidating. I get it. Bonk has picked his bands. Town, PS2, and Final Destination. Again, odd picks. I guess... I guess they're trying to pick the levels with, like, high ceilings that they can't capitalize off uh, Thrupper as well on. Maybe. Intimidate Ving in chat. Also appears not to be a suplex user. If his moveset in the Mii Chord is up to date and to be believed, he is willfully choosing Kalos to go to.
The sack user has selected Kalos on which to fight Lonk. Kalos is fine for sack. It sucks for Thrupper. I don't like the platform. I don't like the ledge. The ledges on uh, on Kalos. Kalos gives children cavities. Be because you don't like the stage? Waiting for Intimidaving to join the arena. Do, 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 do. Intimidating, the password is pinned in the channel. In the crew battle channel. Intimidating. Oh, he's a Crash Bandicoot villain. What an arbitrary decision that was. To give them all names that just start with the initial N. Like, there's no real reason for it. It's just kind of something that they decided to do and it stuck. Lonk versus Intimidaving. Is he using a uh, burning drop kick, as I suspect? Rocking a Michael Jackson knee. Lonk removes his stock. Alright. On to begin. And there you go. Lots of dash attacks from uh, MJ to a raw sma F smash. There's for days. There, there it is. He's got the drop kick. Ooh, Thrupper. Not quite enough to kill. Maybe if this weren't Kalos. Oh, what was that? It's okay. He's fine. I believe he's got both burning drop kick and faint jump. The maximum recovery build. Mmm, not enough. And yet, he still couldn't make it back from that. That is a stock off of uh, Intimidating. Nair interrupts the faint jump. Ooh, raw F smash takes a stock. Lonk is down one. He had no double jump. Ah. Boy, it's it's hard to get someone too far off stage with all three of those moves at their disposal. Horizontally, too. Bonk gets a rapid jab. Just throw them shot puts. MJ shields the up smash. Doesn't shield the second one. Optimistic Thrupper does not connect. Can he get another stock off of Lonk without losing his own? He's losing the damage war. Which is, I suppose, a redundant pair of words. 
He's attempting lots of uh, burning dropkick approaches and another raw F smash. Desperately avoiding the risk of Thrupper up high. Rapid Jab is shielded into another raw F smash. Lots of F smashes today. We are 70 to zero. Disadvantage Lonk. That smash gets shielded. Smashes generally aren't something to throw out all the time, but especially on Brawler, they can be very risky. Especially, especially F Smash with its end light. Thrupper interrupts the Soaring Axe Kick. Bonk is still at a slight disadvantage when it comes to damage. This could still very easily go either way. Raw F Smash gets shielded into an up smash. Doesn't kill, though. 120 for Lonk. He's at a great kill percentage. If anything really substantial landed on him. Like another Raw F Smash? Does he dare? Do he dare? He No, he doesn't need to. He has FMP. All right. That is two off of both players. Still clinging desperately to that one stock advantage for Team Sack. We did almost lose the lead. This has been very close so far. We still have some strong players on Team uh, Thrupper. I, I mean on Team Sack. I, I don't know what Team Thrupper looks like. I'm not privy to their workings. What's going on in the sack chat? missing our sacker after intimidating in which case we would need to call upon a sub it sounds like we are figuring out some stuff with uh missing players again. Uh, one of our sack players is not responding so if he does not respond we may be able able to uh, knock this down to a 7v7 If Rue does not respond by the time Dave presumably loses, I mean he could take out the entire sat, the entire Thrupper team. We still got Big Lord to go through, so that's a real tall, go tall order. But if we don't hear from our uh, our last 
our last sacker, then we'll just uh, we'll we'll lower it to a seven v seven instead of an eight v eight since we're missing people on both sides. Sounds like our next thrupper is the big man himself. So we're waiting on Big Lord to hop in. I just, I called him Dave in the in the chat and no one knew who I was talking about. I just, I assumed that's the reason behind, intimidating, are, are you Dave? Is it like intimidating plus Dave or did I just completely make that up? I may have just named someone by accident. Sounds like the Thruppers are very short on players, so they may need, they're going to need to do a repeat after Big Lord. Intimidating versus Big Lord. The man, the myth, the legend. Representing Portugal. It's a nice startup time. Ca Captain Big Lord. There, there he is. Look at he be. All right, and begin. Can intimidating get a stock off? Not with a not with a raw F smash. Mm, Big Lord got those combos. Failed to finish to uh, punish the missed sack. Grab is too far to connect. Not doing too bad so far. He's getting some hits on Big Lord. Shield into up smash. Big Lord definitely has the edge. 30 to 100. Staying well away from that ledge. Near a uh, sack user. Go for the suicide. You can get a stock off him. A risky thrupper does not connect. Shot put does residually. Michael Jackson using a lot of shields. Shields and raw F smashes. Mm, F throw, not quite enough to kill. The shot put, however, is. Big Lord. Shockingly takes the stock and evens out the score. To nine nine. You put up a good fight, David. Okay, it sounds like we will not be doing a repeat. Everything's so dynamic and fluid. Everything's changing. It sounds like Free GC will be joining us. The Lonk Summoning Circle was not enough to fill out the Thrup the uh, Thrupper slots. Probably because Thrupper sucks. So they had to call upon some more people to get. A kid, I'm throwing shade. Thrupper is a perfectly fine move. If you're a loser.
Uh, who did we lose? We lost Intimidating. Okay, so. And we are down to a 7v7 because both sides are missing players. Which means we are knocking three off of both teams' side, both team scores. Well, shut up. You want me to shut up about Thrupper or just in general? Do you not like people talking over your Smash footage? Very non-competitive online America to Portugal. Four fun Brawler Chord tournament Smash footage. Sorry, I'll shut up. I wouldn't want to offend anyone. Ready? All right. Butter Dragon is our next sacker. Butter versus Big Lord on Pokemon Stadium 2. On opposite sides of the world, West Coast US versus Portugal. Three, two, one, it's go. Team Rocket rocking the slime hat. Ooh, starts off with some combo. He's dancing on Big Lord. Look at that. It's okay. Big Lord's going to catch back up again, probably, but it was an impressive first combo. All right, they are evened up at 80. Brawler famously hurt pretty badly by online. Big Lord lands the Thrupper near the top blast zone, takes off the first stock of uh, Butter. Faint jump stomp into D-throw Nair. Mm. Okay, that did their spike did not kill. It's not a very strong spike. Big Lord is often the anchor in Brawler JMUs. He's the guy. So any any stocks taken off him are an accomplishment. That that's something to celebrate for, you know, the sackers. The jab lock into lower F smash. Big Lord still rocking all three stocks. Can he get one off? Come on, Butter. You had such a great start. You gotta get at least one. Your slime is now. No! Ah, oh, Big Lord with the three stock. He put up a good show, but he was not able to pull it out. Well, that's not good. That means we only have one sacker left. Boy, uh, that turned around real quick once Big Lord showed up. What did he die at? Uh, low. Low math-wise, high geographically. He was he was up towards the blast zone. So we're now having a battle between two of the big names in Brawler Court. Big Lord, get a big name, versus Wokonex. Well, I keep hyping up in crew battle after crew battle, but he ha he hasn't been doing that greatly. This is his time to shine. This is his this is his chance to dethrone Big Lord. You know what? I can't say that. I can't say he's not doing great. I do terrible in crew battles. Woko does way better than me. Anyway, two very good brawler players in a 1v1.
and they're going to Kalos, which Big Lord says he does not actually mind as Brawler for some reason. His words, not mine. Big Lord versus Wokonex. Rupper versus Sack. I like Kalos because of the walls. That's fair. Brawler got that wall jump. He can walk off Dare and make it back thanks to those walls. Alright. Captain Big Lord versus Team Rocket Lady. Wilco taking the early damage, but that doesn't mean ever everything, as the previous match proved. Wilco got that movement, though. Makes it back. No one's dead yet. Pretty even, 80 to 80. That was a risky faint jump. He makes it. Just narrowly avoids the shot put. I haven't been paying attention. I assume Woko also has shot put. <laughs> Attempts the falling there. Ooh! Faint jumps, the faint jump! Attempts! A Nair punish, but it does not work out. Woko went too deep. It hurts to see, but it happens to the best of us. Bear, not enough. Big Lord's still in it. Woko fishing for that bear. He wants the kill. Also, it looks like Woko does not have shot put. He has a uh, flashing mock punch. And up smash doesn't quite kill. Boy, if he could just land one of those. The bear. Mm. A lot of trades happening. Which is not good for Woko. A lot of disadvantage, uh, disadvantageous trades. Woko shields a dash attack into an up, sma up smash for a stalk off of Big Lord. Some bears. He's catching back up again. Come on, Woko. We will not go silent quietly into the night. Silently. Ooh, offstage shot put takes another stock off Woko. Mmm, there's Kalos. Attempted Thrupper Punish does not connect. Faint Jump goes over. Boy, it might be that uh, we might not to get to see the other Thruppers play. Free might we we didn't maybe didn't need to perform the ritual to summon Free. I hope I hope it was worth it. I hope Wolko can still win this. Jab block decides it again. Big Lord. One stock down. Three stocks off Woko. Ending the crew battle in 5 0. Big Lord's favor. It's not even the Thrupper team, it's the Big Lord team. He, he did all of that. Okay, he didn't do all of that, but he did a lot of that. Boy, once he got involved, that was that's all she wrote. And thus ends the uh, Soaring Axe Kick Thrust Uppercut crew battle between the Meat Brawlers. It was a good fight. We had a lot of good matches in that. Uh, that will be it for me today.
And we will be back next week, next Saturday, same time, same place, with, I believe, the Thrust Uppercut versus Heli kick. Let me double check on that. Yes, Thrupper versus Heli is next Saturday, followed by a JMU and then another crew battle. And finally, an event at the very end of June. So tune in probably tomorrow for me and Jack will play something. And you smashers, I will see you next Saturday. Have a good week.